Origin of the Creole people. According to the dictionary, Creole means a person mixed of European and African descent. Due to the fact that the British settlers in Belize brought slaves to cut logwood, mahogany, etc., the mixing and mingling, consensual and non-consensual, of the British and the African slaves birthed the Creole people of Belize. The Creole culture can date back to the 1700s and early 1800s. The earlier Creole people endured slavery as same as the Africans brought to Belize. In 2021, the Creole population is one of the largest in Belize. Creole Cultural Celebrations Creole Heritage Month is celebrated on the last Sunday of October. Maypole is a celebration that includes a tall wooden pole decorated with a long ribbon from the top. Brahm is, um, is famous because it is done every Christmas season. Um, when Brahming is done, they go to each house dancing and playing rock down music and it symbolizes good cheer and merry, and merry making. Cloning. The unpretentious attitude of the ordinary Creole is reflected in their clothing. Western fashion is generally worn in a casual but stylish manner. Coats and necklaces may be required for formal occasions. Female dress in the most recent clothes, which are in line with the international trends. Religions Creole does not belong to any one denomination. Majority are Protestants who worship at various churches. In fact, they would more than likely to join the denominations of their parents and grandparents. Creole music and dance. The Creoles enjoy rhythm and love the dance. They broke down, perhaps come the closest to being their traditional dance. They possess a great aptitude to play most musical instruments, but still hold an affinity for those employed by their African ancestors. Drums, rattles, sticks, not together and battles hit with metal. Brock Tom is the most famous girl style of dance and music which is a mel melodic mix of calypso featuring per percussions and rhythms. Newer forms of Brock Tom are Played with electrical guitars, organs, and bass guitars. The, the Brockdown rhythm is mostly played around the Christmas time to participate in activities such as the Brown. Quarrels in general eat a relatively balanced diet, mainly consisting of rice, beans, bread, fish, vegetables, and most any type of meat. Some dishes of the Quarrel include boil up. A combination of boiled eggs, fish and or pigtail, the cassava, yams or sweet potatoes, plantains and tomato sauce, cowfoot soup, a thick stew with cocoa yam and tripe, rice and beans with stewed chicken and potato salad, and a wide variety of dishes made with fish and other types of seafood. Quarrels tend to hold similar beliefs to other cultures and beliefs. One belief is the Tata de Wende, which is a supernatural force that protects the jungle and wildlife. The Tata de Wende is more of a trickster than evil. He is often depicted as a short male that wears a hat and has a mean face. Another belief is the Sisimete. This creature has been described as Mexican Bigfoot due to its rumored appearance and the fact that it's popular in Mexico and Guatemala as well as Belize. Belief in, Ana in the Anansi originally came from Africa but is widely believed around Belize. The Anansi is a spider that often takes the trickster roles in stories. Belizean culture is unlike any other in this world. 
it's a melting pot of many different influences ranging from the Spanish Mestizo to the German Mennonites, the ancient Mayas, Creoles, and the Garnago people. Today, aspects of these people still live on in the nation of Belize. No matter, my friends, today we will take you on a tour of the Garnago people, their history, origin, dance, food, and much more. Sit back, relax, and we hope to educate you about these amazing people. The theme for this Garifuna settlement day is Aibun Amuru no Hagaburbe Garinago. Awanase Wama Lau. I for you, you for me is the Garifuna way. We begin in South America where people who spoke Arawak and Amerindian language fashioned a culture based on yucca hunting and fishing in a dense forest. The Garifuna are descendants of the Caribs, a people of the island chain known as the Lesser Antilles. In the 17th and 18th centuries, Carib on the island of St. Vincent intermarried with captured African slaves. The Garifuna lived in Central America along the coast of the Caribbean Sea. Their territory spread across the borders of four different nations, Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. In 1802, the Garifuna people first migrated to Belize, but on November 19, 1832, traveling in long canoes, they migrated to Belize under the leadership of Ali Beni. Garifuna Settlement Day is celebrated each year on November 19. It celebrates the arrival of the Garifuna people onto the shores of Belize on November 19, 1802. This holiday is celebrated for the entire week throughout Belize, but especially in Dangriga, where the Garifuna people first landed. Other celebrations that take place within the month of November include Battle of the Drums, the Mr. and Mrs. Garifuna pageant, and the John Kono Festival. The Garifuna culture in Belize displays many influences of its African heritage, which is evident when comparing their music and dance with those of African societies. To the Garifuna, songs and dances are an integral part of their culture. Some genres Genres of music include paranda, punta, and punta rap. Dances include punta, chumba, the wainago, culture. Just like music and dance, clothing is essential in the Garifuna culture. The traditional Garifuna colors are yellow, black, and white. Women often wear long dresses sewn from checkered material along with colored headpieces. Also wear a traditional dashiki to complement the women's attire. Kurut is a traditional Garifuna dish made with mashed plantains and fish in a coconut stew. Ereba cassava bread is made from grated cassava root and yuca. The bread is flat, hard, and thin as a cracker. Cassava bread is very popular and accompanies many Garifuna dishes. A famous drink is Sahau. Cassava drink is usually served as a thick warm drink. Sometimes it is made with condensed milk or lots of sugar is added. Other cuisines include Pundiga, Darasa, Kung Soup, Cassava Pudding, and Garifuna Porridge. The Garifuna practice a version of Catholicism that uses many aspects of their traditional religion. It combines belief in saints with reverence towards Gabida, the spirits of the ancestors, and faith in shamans or spirit helpers called buoys. Their religious practices include dancing, singing, drumming, and the use of alcohol. The Adugurahane, also known as the Dugu, is held to please the spirits when they seem to be angry. A dogo lasts from four to two days. It is attended by friends and relatives of the affected persons. Some Garifuna practice obia. It is used either to harm one's enemy or to ward off spells that others may have cast. An object used in such spell is the Pochinga doll. It is made of cloth stuffed with black feathers and is buried under the doorstep of the intended victim. Crosses are sometimes painted on children's forehead to ward off the evil eye. Hello and welcome. Today we will be providing a brief overview of the Mestiza of Belize. We hope you enjoy. Mestizo history origin. 
1840, the caste war of the Yucatan broke out in Yucatan and the refugees fled to neighboring British Honduras, which is now believed. They fled from an Armeridian uprising which threatened everyone of European descent with death. From 1848 to 1870, thousands came to Belize for safety. At the same time, Guatemalan refugees were fleeing from a dictatorial regime, similar to the migrations of Central American refugees of today. Their social experiences. The mestizo social experiences are with the community of religion, which they practice with reverence. Their beliefs are associated with supernatural forces such as spirits, dead ancestors of gods which carried over from Mayan culture. There are many celebrations that are common to the mestizo culture and other cultures. Take for example Christmas or Easter. During Christmas, however, there is a very unique practice made by the mestizos called La Posada. It literally means the inns, and it is a practice that resembles the time in which Mary and Joseph were seeking a safe place for Mary to give birth to Jesus. This is done by Christians going from house to house asking for a place to stay in a period that lasts about 9 to 10 days between Christmas and New Year's. Besides that, we also have unique celebrations to the Mestizo culture. These include quinceanera celebrations and Dia de los Muertos. The quinceanera is basically a ceremony and feast featuring a young girl who is turning 15. Dia de los Muertos is a celebration that features and honors dead loved ones. This is done by the Mestizos putting altars for their loved ones with fruits, drinks, and food. Music is heavily influenced by Spanish traditions. It also contains quite a number of guitar sounds and to also get a bit of a twist to it, a Caribbean twist, they include a African xylophone. Now, rhythms that they do like res resemble or they do summon would be the flamencio, the cumbia, and salsa. Dances that are performed in the fiestas or celebrations are the mesitaza, the hoghead, the zapatillos, the jarana, the quadris, and the pasadubles. Now, to explain one of the dances, they do include two individuals, which is a hoghead dance, and one individual will be holding a hoghead trying to attack the other person while dancing, and the second one has to avoid the first dancer with something called a calabash gourd filled with dry corn kernels, and they also secure it with a red bag. For their clothing, the women mostly wear something called a ternos or an hipili. And it is a dress that comes in many different colors and many different styles. And it also contains floral embroidery and it's quite colorful and quite beautiful. For the men, they wear something more elegant, um, like a long sleeve shirt and a long sleeve white cotton pants, both cotton. And the pants contains cuffs at the end. And they also do, for the shirt, it's also called the Chama Ra. Folklore of the Mestizo includes tales such as La Llorona, which is a woman seeking her own child that she drowned, Tata Duende, a dwarf that is in essence a guardian of the forest, Tabai, which is a woman that can turn into a snake and usually murders drunkards late at night. There are different events in their folklore and these events are celebrations such as Posadas, Dia de los Muertos, and Carnaval. The religion, although nowadays they are mainly Roman Catholics, the religion used to be mainly Mayan based in that they had associations with supernatural forces such as spirits, relations with dead ancestors, and different gods. Their food is based on Spanish, Mexican, and Mayan. It is combined into one, which is mestizo, and includes different dishes such as tamales, escabeche, relleno, chile mole, or coming known as chirmole, and corn tortillas. Life of the Maya people. The Maya people lived in a larger region known as Mesoamerica and they flourished in this region and in this 
in the southeast, which is now Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, West Honduras, etc. The history of Maya of the Maya people here in Belize can be dated back to 2500 BC in the area which is now known as Cuello. Here in Belize, there are currently three types of Maya: the Yucatec, the Mopan, and the Quechua Maya. The Maya history can also be separated into three main periods, the pre-classic, the classic, and the post-classic. The pre-classic period is referred as the pre-ceramic period, and this period is also when um, Mayas were still experimenting with plants. Here in this period, the, the population of them began to grow, and they organized sheep dumps, they built villages, and new sites were founded. They also began to use uh, mathematics, calendars, and writing, and the production of polychrome poetry began. In the classic period, it is referred as the intellectual and artistic high point of the Maya. In this period, the uh, specialized functions such as arts and public works were introduced, and the Mayas used intensive agricultural systems. They also um, prescribed historical data in stele. However, at, in the late classic period, things took a turn. Uh, there was a lot of competition for resources because of all of the population and there was conflict and war for these resources which led to a rapid decline and abandonment of large centers. The post-classic period is just when the Mayas ceased to be a civilization. They did not go extinct, they, they just spread out and many of them, because many of them died. This is because of deforestation, soil erosion, uh, famine, disease and whatnot. The Maya, the prominent cities that were left uh, went to war with each other. They had civil rises and so on, which occurred until the arrival of the Spanish. We move on to the cultural celebrations, which we have the Deer Dance Festival, which is held in San Antonio and Belize. This is a festival that uh, at the end of this festival, they uh, perform the a dance which resembles hunting a deer. Every year Belize hosts the Maya Day which is on March 22nd where we learn more about the Maya, about their dances, about their food, their tradition, their music, etc. We, for their food, the main central food for the Maya was the corn. They also had the yam, the cassava, the beans and squash. Moreover, they also had the cocoa beans. Cocoa beans were also sometimes used as a form of currency and it could also be prescribed as a medical treatment. And it was mostly for the royalty. For the dishes, we have the caldo, the tunkuno, the chocolate drink. For the clothing, the Maya people usually wear plain colored full length dresses with embroidery and if they did it, they would wear calf length skirts and blouses still with embroidery. The men they wore Euro-American style pants and shirts with embroidery and sometimes they would complete half the outfit with a hat. For their music, the Maya people played a, a variety of instruments which they were also made locally to play guitar, the marimba, the violin. Every time at the end of an important festival, the Maya people would perform an important dance. The, these dances include the cortex, the moor, the dare, and the devil dances. For the floor, floor, the Maya people believe that the atmosphere is infused with the souls of the deceased. They believed in the Tata Twende, La Llorona, La Sirena, and the Sisimito. For their religion, it, they believed in a their religion is polytheistic and animistic. They believe that humans were created three times, first from clay, second sticks, third from corn. They also believe that the world has three levels, the heavens, the earth, and the underworld. Furthermore, their religion included human sacrifice for the many gods that they had. And, and they believe that female gods also influence activities related to their life, fertility, and healing. Thank you very much. History, the origins of East Indians. East Indians came from India to the Caribbean as indentured workers and not slaves. Majority of them resided in countries like Guyana, Trinidad, and Jamaica. In 1858, about 3,000 East Indians migrated from Jamaica to Belize because their contract had expired. 
East Indians resided in districts such as Carrizal and Toledo, working on estates of ex-soldiers. When indentorship ended, they started to invest in their own land to produce and sell on the market. As of right now, East Indians make up 3% of Belize's population, and although this ethnic group is small, they contribute to Belize's cultural heritage and economic success. Some celebrations of the East Indians include Holly. Holly is often referred to as the Festival of Colors. It is centered around the burning and destruction of the demoness Holika, which was made possible through the unwavering devotion to Lord Vishnu, who is a supreme being that protects, creates, and transforms the universe according to the East Indian belief. During the celebration, people throw colored powder on each other and squirt each other with water guns. This is associated with Lord Krishna, a reincarnation of Lord Vishnu, who liked to play pranks on the village girls by drenching them in water and colors. Bang, a paste made from cannabis plants, is also traditionally consumed during the celebration. Another celebration is Diwali, known as a festival of lights due to all the fireworks, small clay lamps, and candles that are lit to guide their way. It honors the victory of good over evil and brightness over darkness. It celebrates the royal homecoming of Lord Rama, along with his wife Sita, his brother Lakshmana, and Hanuman, to the city of Ayodhya after rescuing Sita and defeating her captor, Ravana, the ten-headed king of the demons. Another cultural celebration that is often held in the Punta Gorda area of Belize is the Yellow Ginger Festival. It is celebrated under a theme that encompasses the East Indian culture, traditions, and food. It's a two-day event that includes a culture explosion night where people get to showcase their culture and talent through dancing, singing, acting, and a yellow ginger park fest. At the event, you are sure to find lots of food such as takari kongs and beef liver takari, activities and cultural displays. Cultural characteristics dance. Dance is an ancient and celebrated cultural tradition in India. Folk dances often attract huge crowds at festivals and weddings. Odissi is indigenous to eastern India and is very complex and expressive with over 50 symbolic hand gestures that's used within the dance. It is predominantly performed by women with postures that replicate those found in temple structures. Based on archaeological findings, the Odissi is believed to be the oldest surviving East Indian classical dance. Cultural characteristics clothing. A dhoti or a lungi is a loose skirt or shorts type brought for men and it's common in rural areas and in high heat and it's often worn alone or without a shirt. In urban areas, however, men often wear long button shirts and loose pants called chirwanis or kurta pajamas. Women throughout India wear traditional saris made out of cotton, silk, or factory blends wrapped on the body in countless ways depending on where the wearer lives. They also wear short tops and slips or petticoat type garments underneath and tuck the ends of the fabrics into waistbands. Just like every other culture in Belize, the East Indian people do eat the normal Creole food, but they connect with their culture by preparing cuisines originated from their culture's food. Examples of meals prepared for the occasions in some cases are takari, which is a type of spice meat that has a hint with a glass of either curry or yellow ginger. Another example would be roti. Roti is an unleavened fat bread that is traditionally made out of meat. In a sense, it is basically flour tortilla. Dali is a split pea soup whose name comes from the Hindu word for its chief ingredients, which are legume. For more examples would be sano, which means in Hindu, eat with fingers, and this is a general term for any sort of finger food. Rice is a crop long associated with Belizean East Indian due to the East Indians being associated with farming of crops like rice and sugar during the plantation era in Belize. Cabbage specifically is a common component of festival meals. Religion of the East Indian so many of the East Indian people in Belize tend to practice Christianity and specifically Roman Catholicism since that is the main religion practiced in Belize. But there are a few of the East Indian people in Belize that do practice Hinduism. Hinduism is the most popular religion in India, having about 950 million followers worldwide. But the numbers of Belize are only 0.2% of the population.